going to go ahead and get started this morning. Um, I was just telling Reverend Miles that um, I'm never really 100% comfortable when I come up here in the mornings uh, just because it's standing in front of people. Um, much better on one-on-one, but, but um, at the end of the day, once it gets started, it's, it's, it, you know, it is what it is. So um, I, I think that um, just it's been another week. The week's gone by pretty fast again. Um, I know that, that one of the things we always, I say I, I always do sometimes is um, is try to focus on the, the positive, no matter what we talk about, no matter what we do. A lot of things always happen during the week, good and bad. Uh, but at the end of the day, I know that the, the what what the bad part of the day always sticks in your mind a little bit more than the, than the positive. But if you stop and think about things, the, the, the way more positive happens to us during the week than any negative does. So, um, so right before we open up service, I want you to just kind of think of something about something positive that happened this week. That should be really easy for you to do because we made it here this morning. Um, it, it, you didn't wake up and come here this morning. Even then, that's not necessarily a, a bad thing because hopefully at that point you're going home. You know, so, so at the end of the day, just think about something positive while we open the service this morning. Uh, let's bow our heads. Uh, Lord, we want to thank you for making our way this morning here, making it here this morning, um, and just being in service this morning. There's nothing better than a Sunday morning. There's nothing more peaceful than a Sunday morning and, and then making our way to church. Uh, Lord, I want you to ask you to, to be with us this way as we go through service. Be with us before, during service and after service. Uh, and just wrap your arms around us as we go throughout this day and every day. Uh, but Lord, first and foremost, let's make it through this day. Uh, go with us and stand by us. Let us receive the service as we need it, as we should have it. And, Lord, when it's time for us to go home, uh, take it with us and share it with someone along the way. This is my prayer for Christ's sake. Amen.
name. Hallelujah, you're worthy. Hallelujah, Lord, we lift you up. Hallelujah, you're worthy. Hallelujah, we praise your name. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. People used to say, if your fire ain't burning, you need to check your wood. That's what they used to say. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Thank God for our here being in the absence of our pastor on today. Uh, how many people come to worship God on today? And there's no other place I'd rather be. Amen, somebody. I want to draw your attention to the bulletin, uh, if you have one, um, to those that are in Facebook and Radio Land. We thank you for tuning in on today or whenever you're tuning in. God bless you all under the sound of my voice. Uh, we do have a couple of announcements. Uh, we will have our regular uh, telephone Bible study on Wednesday, July the 5th at 10 a.m. It will continue at 8.30 p.m. And um, if you have a bulletin, you would see where you could uh, begin your readings. I also want to remind us that our pastor will preach on the night of uh, July the 6th at 7 p.m. at Union Grove Congregational Church in McLeansville. So please keep that in mind. The Praise Ensemble and Congregation are invited to accompany him. We will celebrate our youth on the third Sunday, amen somebody, in uh, July, on July the 16th, during the morning worship. You may pick up a form from Miss Ella Richmond or Catherine Daughtry, or they will be on the table in the front of the church. Uh, it will be for those youth that are present. We will have a quarterly church meeting. These months going by fast. Uh, on July the 16th, following the morning worship. Do have some birthdays um, next week. Uh, Miss Francis, I ain't mean to scare you. Miss Frances Evans will be on July the set, second. Uh, Angela Warren Stadler, I don't think is here, uh, on July the third. Nicole Williams, um, one of the ministers of this church, um, July the seventh. Uh, Deborah Crumpton, I don't see, I don't think, will be on July the eighth. Um, and we do thank everyone for your um, liberty in giving. Uh, the Bible teaches us it's more blessed to give than to receive. And also the Lord loves a cheerful giver. Uh, we do thank God for everything that you have given in uh, support of the ministry to keep it going. Um, at this time, um, we will have a, an offertory and then I will do the statement of faith and then uh, Reverend Diane Miles will come and do our scripture. And then you will hear no other than the Reverend Monroe Miles. Good gracious, my cousin, some of my people. But um, at this time, let us pray. God, we thank you for everything you have allowed us to give on today. We thank you for how you allowed us to give a gift unto you God to keep your uh, ministry going and we ask that those who did not have to give on this time may have something to give on the next we thank you for stewardship 
of this branch of Zion, that those monies are used for the upbuilding of your kingdom and the tearing down of Satan's. In Jesus' name I pray. If you have your bulletin, you can find on the inside the statement of faith, and we will read in uh, unison. We believe in you, O God, eternal spirit, God of our Savior, Jesus Christ and our God, and to your deeds we testify. You call the worlds into being, create persons in your own image, and set before each one the ways of life and death. You seek in holy love to save all people from aimlessness and sin. You judge people and nations by your righteous will, declared through prophets and apostles. In Jesus Christ, the man of Nazareth, our crucified and risen Savior, you have come to us and shared your common lot, conquering sin and death and reconciling the world to yourself. You bestow upon us your Holy Spirit, creating and renewing the church of Jesus Christ, binding in covenant faithful people of all ages, tongues, and races. You call us into your church to accept the cost and joy of discipleship, to be your servants in the service of others, to proclaim the gospel to all the world and resist the powers of evil, to share in Christ's baptism and eat at his table, to join him in his passion and victory, you promise to all who trust you forgiveness of sins and fullness of grace, courage in the struggle for justice and peace, your presence in trial and rejoicing, and eternal life in your realm which has no end. Blessing and honor, glory and power be unto you. Amen. We'll have our scripture now. God bless you. give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, tell of all his wonderful works. Glory in his name, let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength, seek his presence continually. Remember the wonderful works he has done, his miracles and the judgments he has uttered. The word of God for the people of God. Blessed be the name of God. Of 
of your mercies that we are not consumed because thy compassions fail not they are new every morning great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness you done for me, how you lose my shackles and you set me free, how you made a way out of no way, turn my darkness into day, you've been my joy in the time of sorrow, hope for my tomorrow, peace in the time of the storm, strength when I'm weak and worn, I can never repay you, Lord, for what you done for me, how you lose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of no way, turn my darkness into day. You've been my joy in the time of sorrow, hope for my tomorrow, peace in the time of the storm. Strength when I'm weak and worn, I can never repay you, Lord, for what you've done for me. How you lose my shackles and you set me free. How you made a way out of no way. Turn my darkness into day. You've been my joy in the time of sorrow. Hope for my tomorrow. Peace in the time of the storm. Strength when I'm weak and worn. I can never repay you, Lord, for what you got for me. How you lose my shackles and you say, How you made a way out of way. Turn my darkness into day. you wanted me to say.
He has been so faithful. Thank you, Jesus. I was still giving honor to God, our Lord Jesus Christ and Savior, and to all of the different auxiliaries of the church, which is the organism of the church, which makes it function. Give honor to you all that are here today. I know in your minds you maybe could have been somewhere else, but you chose to come to the house of worship today. Oh, God. And I thank you. We pray for our pastor. He's out on the road. We pray for his safety as he travels the, the busy highway and going through and forth, doing the work that God has set his hands to do. And we thank you. In our scripture reading of the day, as we do what we have, that we understand. May we pray. Dear God in heaven, we thank you as you have given us to understanding with your will and ways, O oh God. That we come, O oh God, to hear from you. That what must we do, O oh God, in all that we do. And to give you honor and praise that you deserve in this time and day in which we live in. And we say thank you, Jesus. Amen. So the scripture reading reads as follows, but I still chose the subject as don't forget God. And as they were singing that song as to what God did so faithful and what he's doing, how can we forget God? So the duties in which we are called for is many. But the tenderness of them gives us unto God to give God the glory that his name is due. So we must give thanks to him as one who has favor the poor and returning of the rich rewarding that he has given us. We say thank you. So in that rich rewarding, we call upon his name, as we call upon his name, as one who is depending upon for further favor. Thank you, Jesus. And as we depend on him for further favors, what? We pray for those further favors and mercy and accept the acknowledgement of the former mercy that he has offered. And in that form of mercy, you remember where, what God had brought you from. He had brought you from a long way. And that's how we remember those former messages or former mercies that he has applied to us as we come. Because he has inclined his ear unto us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Therefore will I call upon him. Make known his deeds, O oh God, and that others may join with you in praising him. Oh, I know they have praised his spirit. Talk to all the wonderful works. Talk about the wonderful works. And we think that we are full and much affected with the desire and to fill others with as we talk, talk with others and help feel the desire of others who are, we are in the saints of God. We say thank you. So, as we do that, we can have a discourse with our families. As we have that discourse with our families, we sit down and we can talk about, we can talk to them as we sit in the house, as we go by the way. 
and not merely entertainment, but exciting of the devotion and encouraging our own others' faith in the hope of God. Jesus. So, during this course of the day, and into the next year, or the rest of this year, 2023. So, as I look at my message today, it's been, it's the message today is imperative. So don't forget God in all his benefits towards mankind, his grace and mercy has kept us until the day and all praises and glory belongs to him. So, we must remember, as I spoke to those who, them that rule over us, who has spoken unto you the word of God, who faith follows, considering the end of their compensation. Those who have. So, we remember them who has ruled over you. And I say those who the elders, the deacons, and the church leaders and Christians that owe much to others who have played and taught you in the word of God. They demonstrate how we walk to walk circumspectively before us in the evidence of the Holy Spirit abiding in our lives. Those who have invested in your life by evangelism, service, and Christian education The cares of this life. Y'all have to excuse me. I get the token of sinuses open up and everything's come flowing. <laughs> Don't excuse it. So, so the cares of this life can push you into a corner thinking that only what you don't have. And what you need and how your situation is. But it's like those in the Bible who moaned and groaned when they left out of Egypt. Oh. And he talked to them as they were leaving Egypt. He said, But hope keep the Christian from falling dull, becoming bored, like an athlete training run well and remember the reward at the end. Thank you, Jesus. So, here we are. So you can remember, say, when God was looking over your life, you can remember how God had smiled on you at one time. And he's still smiling on you now. But you have to be in that that a corner where God would have you to be in order to give him praise and understanding. So, those ones that we said that spoke over us as we be becoming to know Christ is our lives, we could say, are they were not like ministering spirits sent forth as ministers from them who shall be heirs of salvation. So, angels of God are messengers. Spiritual being created by God is under his authority. They have several functions, serving believers, protecting the helpless, proclaiming God in the message, and executing God's judgment. So man is come to save that which is lost. So in Hebrews 13, it tells us as we are ministering to others, what it says is that let your conversation be without covenantness. Mm. And be content with such things as you have. And for he has said, I will never leave you 
of a safety. Even though we had layoffs, hard times, loss of home, so that we may be boldly say, the Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. See, God loves is in what he has provided, but remember God. Remember that he was there when you had no one else. Thank you, Jesus. He was there when, you, when it was hopeless and you needed a miracle. He was there so many times before. How I doubt you to doubt him now. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Mm. Anywhere, any one time you would wake up early in the morning. I know some of us can remember that. If not all of us can remember that we have woke up early in the morning. Before we begin our day, say you made a promise that if he would deliver you out of the situation that you would serve him wholeheartedly. Promise to not to revert back to what were in, what were you into. It gets hard at times, and we do not falter, but the Spirit of the Lord is saying, don't forget. I encourage you to rekindle your fire. You once had about God. And search for him with an initial passion. Seek the truth that he placed within you. Don't forget God. So into people and be a good steward over and provide you with the realization that God was there all the time working to get you to a better place. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So Romans 8, 28 says, and we know that all things that work together for the good of them that love God yeah. and to them who are called according to his purpose, remember, don't forget God. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. And that all things know Sometimes it happens to us as is good. But for evil prevalence in our fallen world, it, it's there, it's here, we know it's there, we see it every day. It comes and goes. You turn on the TV, you see the news. There it is. There are Trump and all the mother. There. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. So in that, we know that not. Speaking of good things, you don't want to, you know, it's there. But what can you do? You pray to God that God, oh, God will come. And he's working it out, and he's working it out in his, in his purpose that he has his time. Just believe he will work it out. He will work it out. So the Holy Spirit, this year, permission. Before us, as saints of God, the call are those who the Holy Spirit convinced and able to receive Christ. New creatures would have a new perspective, would look to their security in heaven and not on earth. Learn to accept, not resent pain or prosecution because we know God is with us. Don't forget God. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I urge you, follow God. Regardless of the obstacles and the difficulties, which is the way we have overcome faith. Don't forget him. Because God is a good God. And finally, my people, the mission that the people of God have hope and follow him. Listen and obey because of who he is. Remember how God expects his kindness in your life. It will even see that God is not listening to your every prayer, but you won't get up, or you won't get heaviness, or brokenhearted, or lack of love, or lack of money. All kinds of things will wear and tear 
at your spirit. But let me encourage you, no matter the situation man may have meant for bad, but God meant it for good. And see how the changes can come about because of the power of God. So you struggle in making you strong. Your situation does determine your destiny. Just don't cheat yourself by quitting is making you better. The spirit is working in you to get you to the next phase of your walk. Let's work it out and keep your words positive. Sure, you want to sleep away, but if you do that, you will rob God of his glory. Oh, God, that when he comes to your rescue, Jesus, you will survive, and he will never let you down. Don't blame God for the lack if you don't have just and believe. Continue to pray our tithes and give extra offerings. The scripture desire the blessing come from giving freely. I urge the church to hold on to the truth of the word that you have heard when you first believed in Christ. Get back to the fundamentals of faith and the important growth of our knowledge of the Lord. Deepen our understanding through careful study, Sunday school, Bible church school, preaching. No matter how we learn, we hold on to Jesus Christ, who will always be God's son, and his sacrifice for our sins is permanent. There will be no new truth for God. He is the way, the truth, and the life and no man coming to the Father except by Jesus Christ. Remember God and give him thanks and praise every day. Thank you. Thank you.
one time I knew it all. said unto them, he breaks the bread, and he said, this is Jesus' body. Then he opened, he took the wine, and he broke the wine. He said, that's the blood of Jesus Christ. And as we giving you all the 